Order, honorable members. Honorable members, we will. Immediately after Parliament adopted the draft constitution without any changes, the mainstream churches emerged as one of the key constituencies that could prove a stumbling block to the realization of a new constitution, with their main concerns being the inclusion of the Islamic Catholic courts and the clause on abortion. There is something wrong. And I think that's why we were really hoping that uh, the parliamentarians would take their responsibility seriously. And I think it's naive for people to expect that because parliament passed it, the Christians will be very easily endorse it. And speaking today, the National Council of Churches of Kenya maintained that it will not relent on its position to reject the draft. According to the Secretary General Peter Karanja, the church was accused of sitting on the fence during the 2005 referendum, and they have since decided to make their stand known this time round. The church has taken that counsel well and is not shy to take a position and move the flock in that direction. That is why the church has said no. They even call for an extension of three months to allow for consensus before the referendum is held. We propose that the legal framework guiding to the constitution reveal process be amended. Kenyans who feel aggrieved in this process who reject the draft at the referendum and that is what these religious leaders have said and what they will do uh, in mobilizing the faith force. It is understood that the leaders of the Grand Coalition are increasingly concerned about the mounting resistance by the Christian community to the draft constitution. And it is because of this that the two principals, President Kibak and Prime Minister El Odinga, are expected to meet representatives of the National Council of Churches of Kenya and leaders from the Catholic Church tomorrow. In a statement from the Presidential Press Service, the meeting which will take place at Arambe House will be seeking to come up with a way forward on the draft. Both principals have supported the draft constitution. The two principals are understood to be keen to impress on the Christian leaders to accept the draft constitution as it is and push their case for changes thereafter since rejecting the draft altogether could scuttle the entire review process, which has taken more than 20 years. Chris Dairo, Citizen Level 9, Nairobi.